Hi everyone, it's Rachel and today I'll be showing you how you can create these DIY colourful geometric necklaces using polymer clay. These are super easy to make and would make a great gift to give to someone and the designs can also be changed to your liking. So let's get started. I started off by selecting all the colours of clay that I wanted to use and I conditioned the clay and rolled the various colours into balls and then grouped them together. So for the first design I used the colours Gold and Princess Pearl both by Sculpey and rolled the colours out using my acrylic roller. To make sure each piece of clay was the same thickness I took two popsicle sticks and placed the clay between these before I started to flatten them down. I then took my longer blade and began cutting the clay to the shape I wanted it. I firstly trimmed off one side of each colour so that I had a neat straight edge where I could join them together. Polymer clay is a fairly strong material so if the colours are stuck together properly they shouldn't break apart but if you want to be extra safe you can also use some liquid clay to help secure them. Once I positioned them together I then trimmed off the edges to get the triangle look I was going for. I then took my needle tool and created two holes at the top where the chain could go and then I used a dotting tool to make them slightly larger. It's then time to bake the piece in the oven and I baked mine for around 20 minutes. After baking let it cool and it's time to add the chain, the clasp and use some jump rings and pliers to help you. You can also glaze your pendant if you like but I decided to leave mine as it is for a matte finish. For the second pendant I used the colours Jewelry Gold and Pearl which are both by Sculpey. Again I rolled out my balls of clay using the popsicle stick as a guide to ensure they come out the same thickness. I started off by firstly cutting a triangle out of the pearl clay using my blade. I then took the gold clay and used that triangle as a template to cut out one more the same size from the gold clay. Next I used my needle and dotting tools to create a hole at the top of the pearl triangle before positioning it onto the gold triangle and then baking. Again I used my gold chain and links to complete the necklace. So for this next design I used pearl clay again by Sculpey and then the purple colour is called lilac which is by the Fimo Effects range. For this one I firstly cut a triangle shape out the top of the purple clay and then set it on top of the pearl colour to act as a template and this helped me cut it on the same angle. I then joined these two pieces together and trimmed off the edges so I got the shape I wanted it to be. Next I added two holes to the top and baked the piece in my oven before completing the necklace. For this fourth necklace I again used some gold clay as well as this pearl colour called a light pink clay by Sculpey which has a very faint pink tinge to it. I rolled both the colours out using my roller and the popsicle sticks. I started off the geometric design by firstly cutting the middle triangle out of the pink pearl clay using my blade. I then took the gold clay and used the triangle as a template to cut three more of the same size. Once I had my four triangles, I joined them all together so I placed the pink one in the center and connected the gold ones around the outside. I also trimmed off any excess clay as I went. Again add some holes to the top of the pendant before baking and connecting on the necklace chain. For 
for this final geometric design, I use three different colors. So I have the light pink pearl clay by Sculpey, Rose, which is a light pink by Fimo, and then also Aqua, which is a light blue by Fimo. I rolled the colors out and then began trimming them down and placing them together. For this one, I was just kind of making it up as I went and cutting off bits and pieces at a time so that eventually it would all slide together like a little puzzle. I used my blade to help perfect all the edges and then used my needle and dotting tools to add some holes before baking and finally adding the pendant to the necklace. So that is everything for this video, thank you so much for watching. These geometric pendants are very simple to make and you can even get really creative and come up with a bunch of different designs. If you enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more crafty videos and I'll see you next time, bye guys!